Hello you absolute legends. Today we will go through how the outer beep works. So first of all we need to know what bunny hopping is. Bunny hopping is a technique used by players in all sorts of games. We jump at the moment of hitting the ground to keep your velocity. This combined with strafing accelerates the character to high velocities. The con with bunny hopping is if you miss one jump by just milliseconds, it will result in losing all of your speed. We humans can only achieve certain velocities until we miss and lose everything. Many games might have bunny hop available, but they add a speed cap, so it's not that ex exploitable. However, the Left 4 Dead series at this moment does not cap off as you can go with bunny hopping to my knowledge. That means if we always hit our hops, it will result in incredibly high speeds, even on Wolf's official servers. What if we could remove the con of missing bunny hops completely? In fact, of the power of imagination and coding, we can could manipulate the game's memory and force jumps whenever we hit we hit the ground. The game has flags which we can use to tell if the player is grounded or in the air, and even force jumps if we write to the correct address. To make a jump in Souls games, the game uses a jump flag with the number 4 at its default. If we set it to 5 for example, the player will jump. However, to make another jump we need to set the number back to 4. A fun fact is if you jump inside the game, holding the jump key down after it lands will result in sending a plus jump without a minus jump. So the jump flag number is set to 5 and the game doesn't let you grab onto ledges. I'm hanging here! I got you, I got you. We can get down here. This is because the flag isn't on the, its default value 4. With this knowledge, players have found incredible exploits which contain falling off buildings to skip parts of the game. Let's stick together. Here is a poorly made Let's comparison of using the exploit versus playing normally. On the right, using the exploit, the player saves roughly 15 seconds in this example. Everybody get in the Back to the out be a part. I was going to show finding the addresses in the game, but then I realized I made another video on exactly that. So to summarize it quickly, it would be running the game in dash insecure mode to not get back banned and then use Sheet Engine to find the needed memory addresses from Left 2's memory. I know this video might be hard to follow, but hear me out. We get a number which indicates if we are on the ground or not, then we make a jump if it's grounded. It's not harder than that. Now to the coding part. The language will be C Sharp using C Sharp forms, but if you want to do it in a la another language, it's pretty much the same structure, so it should be pretty easy to do there as well. To read and write from the game's memory, I will use the memory library by NewH, which we get from the package manager. Now we import get async key state from C++ to use for hotkeys. If you remember we got memory addresses from the game earlier, now we write them down as variables. But 
Before we do anything to the game, we'll need to make sure the game is running and thereafter open the process wide open. Now we'll make an infinite loop to check for the user inputs. Here we check if the spacebar is down, and if the spacebar is down, we proceed to read the game's memory. We read the game's memory for our grounded indicator. If the indicator displays zero, which means the player is on the floor, grounded, we proceed with making a jump. To make a jump, we first write to the jump flag the value 5, which makes the player jump and then change it back to 4, to make another jump later. The last thing we do in this case is making the whole function run in a separate thread. This is to not freeze our application. If you want a more detailed tutorial, make sure to look at this video. So with that out of the way, let's start our program. Works as intended. I'm surprised if anyone has watched this far actually. It felt like a mess making this video, but if you liked it, make sure to comment down below your thoughts about the video. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I love making YouTube videos and you guys drive me forward. If anyone got the secret YouTube reference or YouTuber reference in this video, comment it down below and I will pin the comment. The rest of the video will be gameplay of using the to be up, so see you guys in another video. Oh yeah, lovely!